listen guys, I need to talk to you about having squirrel moments. And I'm not talking about like the Disney movie Up where something's happening, it's just squirrel. And you just look to the side, get distracted for a split second. I'm talking about what I'm seeing a lot of all over the place these days and just happened to me on Sunday. Now, I don't know what part of the country it is that you're watching this video from, or maybe even what country, as I have a lot of international followers, but in my area, I am seeing squirrels dead all over the road on the sides of the roads like crazy. I remember the other week I was getting off the exit from 287 going on to 80, and I could have easily counted nine or 10 dead squirrel bodies in maybe like a hundred yard distance, right? And I'm just looking, I'm like, what the heck is this? And I just started thinking how many dead squirrels I'm seeing all over the place. And people have been posting up locally, hey, am I the only one noticing that there's squirrels all over the side of the road? Now, this is the squirrel moment that I wanna to talk to you about. This is the squirrel moment that will kill you. Because what do squirrels do? And we know, it. you see them, they dance. Even Geico got the commercial, right? They dance on the highway. They run back, they run out. They run out the lane, they run back. Boom, they're so indecisive, they keep going back and forth that by the time that they finally make up their mind to jolt on out, they just got hit by your front tire or somebody else's. And I've yet to see it in 41 years on this earth. I've yet to see it until just this past Sunday. And this is when my squirrel moment happened. We're on 23 North, driving from one store to the next, and just in the middle of a conversation, you just see this green thing, this great thing come flying out, and then whap, it jumps. I don't know why it stopped running, but it jumped, thinking it could get clear four lanes of highway. It jumped right into the, uh, a wheel of a truck that was driving by an SUV, and you see it bounce off and spin it on its back like it was trying to break dance. And I know that thing was dead minutes later. That's what happened to me. That's what's happening to all those squirrels on the sides of the road, all the, on, the, on the exit lanes. That's what happened to that squirrel right in front of me. And that's what I did. Let me tell you how my squirrel moment just killed me. Uh, our refrigerator, our refrigerator just decided to crap out out of nowhere. It kind of gave us warning signs. We didn't think anything was going on. Boom, fridge is dead. We got three kids, there's a house of five. We gotta make sure that everybody's fed, that everybody's gotta be taken care of. So we have no choice but to replace that fridge now. And we need it like now, now. Went over to the store, looked around, all right? I guess this, I and mean, there was hardly anything in stock, whether it's in stock available this week or in a couple of weeks or even further down the road. We found one, it was in stock. Uh, we can get it over to us by Thursday. And then when we're about to get run up, I was like, you know what? Let's just go up the road real quick. Check it out. Let's see if we can get anything else. Maybe something a little nicer that we really want. Set, et cetera. Save a couple bucks, whatever deal is, right? So we left. On the way up to the store, that's when we saw the squirrel try to jump four lanes of highway, get hit by the truck. Boom. We walk into the store. We look around. There's really, I mean, there's a slim selection, but nothing's available to like November and December deliveries because everything is just shorthand these days, all right? So we take the drive on back. Found the same dude. Hey, let's go ahead and let's ring it up. We want that one. We still get it on Thursday. So we get into the computer. He types it in and he pauses. He looks down, he looks at us. He looks at and he looks down again, looks back up and says, listen, in the time that it took you to go to the store and come back and he shows us the screen, says we are completely sold out. All color options, not even a, a delayed delivery date, just flat out sold out out and because of that we had to go back to looking around and we had no choice but to buy what was available that would fit and even more what killed us the fact that it cost twice as much as the other one the same way those squirrels dance in and out of the lanes in and out of the street and then finally when they decide boom they get killed by the car my indecisiveness my saying, hey, instead of getting it, we got it now, we can do this now, we can receive it now, let's do it now. My indecisiveness took me elsewhere, and by the time I came back, I got hit with twice the bill. Why am I sharing with this, you guys? How many squirrel moments have you had in your life? 
in recent days, recent weeks, recent months, recent years. How many times have you bounced back and forth on something that by the time you finally decide, it's too late. The car is dead. The appliances are done. You missed the opportunity. Listen, you've heard it said a million different ways. When the opportunity presents itself and it's in your hands, just take it. If it's what you need and what you want and or what you want, just take it. If it doesn't seem like the job you've been praying for, but you know that that's eventually going to put you in the direction that you want to be, take it. If you have a business presented to you, you come up with the idea, what have you, and you start bouncing back and forth with the idea, jump on it. Because if you don't, somebody else will. If you don't, somebody else will. If you don't, somebody else will. Stop having squirrel moments. When you know it's right at that exact moment, do it right then, right there. Because trust me, you don't want to get hit like me and that squirrel just did on Sunday. I want to thank you guys for taking a few moments to listen to this story. I hope it served you. I hope it put a little food for, for thought into your heads. All right. If this video is not for you, that's totally cool too. Please repost it and reshare it because somebody else needs to hear this story and stop having squirrel moments so they can just fly out with the rest of their lives instead of dancing back and forth like they have been for the last several years. Thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Let's get there.